Hi, Mike Gibson, Roxana Marin, coming to you live from ESC 2025. Roxana, big, big changes in the guidelines for hyperlipidemia. CRP finally getting the recognition it deserves. I mean, unbelievable. I, first of all, ESC guidelines, they're so easy to understand. I like they that just, about them, yeah. They do, like the first page, what's new? Right. The next page, how did it change? What was it before? Where did we go? Amazing, but then, most importantly, primary prevention with lipids. Basically, measure the LDL, but HSA CRP is also important because together they make a big difference as in prediction models. Now, I'm someone who has an elevated LPLA. They say... First time really now recommending everyone get a, at least an LPLA. At twice. least one, and yeah. for the first time, that's in the guidelines. Yeah. New in the guidelines. Every person you see, should have at least one measurement of LP little a. Get it, know your number. Get it done, get it done. And then lower the better. High risk patients? Yeah, you know, people say, well, there's nothing we can do about LP little a right, right now, but you can get your LDL down as low as possible. That, I'm, my LDL is 27 because well, I, you know. But now we have a new was. target. Yeah. 40. 40 is 40 the new 40 for the high risk patients, yeah. 40. So they're really giving the tools to the interventionalist. And by the way, in ACS patients, strike early and strike strong. Be bold, right? Yeah, interventional cardiologists have got to understand they're the gatekeepers for prevention as well. And that is a moment when a patient's feeling vulnerable and you know that's a moment to start all that aggressive lipid lowering. And they also for the first time are combining um, uh, uh, statins, high intensity statins with the zinamide yeah. at the time of ACS. This is the first time, I mean, these are all really, really important and guidelines. And a shout out to pempidoic acid as well. And a pempidoic acid. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting, there is this um, uh, special population for HIV patients that now for the first time for primary prevention, HIV, because they're living longer mm -hmm. and they end up dying of heart disease correct. if we don't correct their LD. We can't correct. ignore them. They're also part of the equation. Exactly. That's the thing I love about the ESC guidelines is, you know, people aren't looking for more information. They're looking for curated information. There's right. too much information. Great job putting it all in that top area there so we can just know exactly what to do. So great. Fantastic guidelines. Congratulations to the ESC and that, that group. Great job.